All right, Middle Waddle, Waddell Creek, Capital Forest, June something something, 2023. Like second, third, I don't know. Uh, I got snacks, I got water, I got camera gear. We're gonna try to do like just the, a simple little loop trail here. It's not even that far. I think the total trail is only gonna be about 14 or 15 miles to do the whole loop. And then to mess around, see if we can find some single track. Yeah, on the 350 today, we are at, I've got 14.7 hours on this thing, 236 miles, it's had one oil change. Yeah, it is due for some, uh, for some abuse. Oh, loop trail. good to be out on the dirt bike. I haven't ridden this thing yet this year actually. I've been on the two-stroke. I did a, a couple days at Walker Valley and then a couple days at Sahoya on the 300. And this thing's just getting neglected but this is the first time I'm riding it with the new sprocket on the rear. I got a I went to a 53 from a 52. So this is a Waddell Campground. This is where next time I come down here, I'm going to bring my my little camper and I want to camp out in here. All right, let's warm up here. We got to warm up a little bit here. Now we got to warm up, we got to get used to the four-stroke. This has uh, no recluse clutch like my 300 does. So it's good to get out on this thing to get back into and get used to using the clutch and stuff. Very Tahoya-ish through here. We get up on the mountain here hopefully soon to get into the woods. We're just chugging in third gear and not even using the clutch right there. Alright, where do we want to go? It's fun. I've never been over on the side of Capitol Forest. I'm like exploring new stuff. It's like, whoa, this is sick. Look at my hand, a tunnel. used to on this not only is it it's a four stroke and I'm used to the two stroke it's uh, no recluse clutch uh, the two stroke also has a handbrake so it's good to, I, I need to ride this thing more so I stay uh, I stay uh, keep keep practicing you know with the clutch control and all that, all that jazz but when I'm out doing long single track I don't care I just want to enjoy the trail enjoy the scenery so like the recluse really for us uh us old timers it it's kind of a game changer especially if you you got into the game late like i didn't start riding until my late 40s and that was mostly uh i had a street bike a dia or a, a ktm duke 640 2002 and uh but my first like off-road bike was a drz in 2006 i still got it and uh, it's good to go. It's ready to be out with bikes. I got some friends that don't have bikes, and I'm like, you know, I don't know why I'm riding by myself. You got a helmet? I mean, I got a bike for you, buddy. You know who you are. There we go. Now we're getting into the woods and the shade. It's nice in here. Single track there. Man, there's some good stuff out here, I bet. difference between this and my 300 is uh 300 tubeless with shinko cheaters on it this has got tubes and uh dot tires uh what are they kenda 7 k760 track masters they're pretty soft for uh, a dot tire and i wouldn't recommend ever riding anywhere on the pavement with them because they're going to just wear out nothing pretty fast but i took this bike up over uh it was Tainum Ridge at the end of the summer, early fall last year, and uh, did a really nice loop. And actually, have been further back into the single track up there on this than I have on the 300. 
is that and, you know I, every time i get on this bike it's like the first time for a, a couple minutes and then you get used to it and then i remember how awesome these 350s are and a little cinder block assist there I know people think I'm weird because I use like my phone GPS and then I also use the uh, the trail tech but to be honest sometimes the uh, the trails are, are actually on trail fork so I got that to follow and then I really just use the the Voyager is just kind of get out of jail free card if I get lost or something I can just turn around and just follow the line back yep This is awesome out here. I could be sitting at home playing video games right now, which I love doing. But it's got nothing on this. A waddle base and these are still on the right trail. Nice. Now I've come in from the rock candy side and I've seen the the signs for this loop. Just never did it. pretty stock and as far as the engine is concerned it's completely stock uh, not, not stock tires not stock gears put a skid plate on it obviously the hand guards and then some of the electronic stuff like the the trail tech but, oh and the seat seat concept seat of course might have been on this part before six days on the mountain bike in Bentonville for Bike Fest 2023. My brother Nick and my friend Jeff. Ooh, look at this. Wow. On my way out there I hot hit Moab and did Slick Rock also on the mountain bike. And then uh, God was thinking about going mountain biking today and I'm all like, what? No, let's go dirt bikes. So we hit the east or the wet well, Waddell Basin West Trail that takes us back to where we're parked. So we'll just run the GoPro until we get there, and then we'll use the Insta 360 false neutral for the for the ride back. Whoa! Look at the deer. I scared them. <laughs> they kind of scared me too. For being honest. Well, this is nice smooth trail through here. Just gotta keep an eye out for other riders. I just can't, I can't, you can't cut loose totally because <laughs> just every time I there's definitely people out here today. Not by myself. Alright man. This is nice in here. I keep saying that. This is amazing. Here. here we go. Keep going. We're almost. Well not almost almost there. We're like 60% of the way to where we hit the go west trail to go back. I do remember this. This is like a 
pretty blind corner right here. Yeah, I do remember that corner. Another thing I'm not used to on the four stroke is engine braking. Like, I might just kick it down into second going downhill. I don't even need to use the brake. The two stroke won't do that, especially with the recluse. There's there's no engine braking. You you need to brake the stuff. is good. So when I I woke up this morning, I got all the bike and everything ready to go last night, and then when I woke up this morning, I felt like crap. Now, I don't know about you, but when I feel like crap, Physically, like you know, my head was sore, I had a headache, my gut didn't feel quite right. Uh, it kind of affects me mentally too. And to get out and all the energy it takes to do this, man, it it takes everything I got sometimes just to get out of the house. But every time I do, every, and I mean every time. Every time I, I, I fight through it and I get out and I ride, whether it be a mountain bike or bicycle or uh, I mean jump bike, mountain bike or dirt bike, dual sport, doesn't matter. It's always been worth it every time. And I ride alone 99% of the time too, so it's crazy, you know, it's a, when you're a kid. It's like, you get so excited the night before you can't even sleep. I, I trust you, I slept great last night. <laughs> but getting up in the morning, getting I was excited to go riding, but my body and my mind still did not want to go. But here I am, and like I said, it's always 100% worth it. And I have to remind myself that, like hit the house. Like, as I'm loading everything up, and I'm just like hating the world, I'm always sit like to myself I'm like you know what in about two hours you're gonna be on the trail and you're not even gonna be thinking about any of this crap unless you're talking about it to the camera like I'm doing now but I doesn't it doesn't affect me like I said I'm, I'm back where I need to be but I wrote the mountain bike and the, and the dirt bikes different totally different the same but different like I I can't I can't explain it unless you you know what I mean like mountain bikes are way fun the cool thing about a mountain bike is like that you don't need that i can pretty much just throw that thing in the back of my truck and hit the road but with this thing it's like or any of my dirt bikes it's like you gotta make sure you got gas make sure you got your discover pass make sure uh you know you gotta hook up the trailer you gotta load the trailers all the registration's good on everything and then just the pure energy and, and, and effort it takes just loading and unloading and moving everything around and operating the machine itself. Operating a dirt bike is way more physically demanding than operating a mountain bike. And you're like, what do you mean? It's got an engine. Yeah, exactly. It's got an engine and it's tugging and yanking and pulling and you're fighting it and it's it weighs more than you on the mountain bike. I gotta itch my nose. On the mountain bike, you're the, you're the bulk of the mass. You're telling everything where to go. The speeds are a lot faster. I'm gonna say the risk is probably the same. The mountain bike, you, you tend to get more sendy, right? It's weird, you think the opposite, but on a mountain bike, I jump way more on a mountain bike than I do on this thing or my 300, I don't know. Like I hit little whoops every once in a while, like this right here. You know, that's about it. But on the mountain bike, like I'm trying to do gap jumps and trying to learn whips and you know like I, I'm not doing that on this thing hell no oh here we go we got some more quadders up here a lot of quads out here today oh this is where we're stopping this is our spot good spot for lunch I'm thinking the same thing <laughs> 